So let's get into our Goron Minds RTA race commentary. Take it away. Hello. Hello. Oh, hi. It's me. I'm back. JD's that is Prince. Now. I am JD. There he is. Welcome uh, to this Goron Minds RTA race. Should be an exciting time. Uh, yeah. Um, these are all really entertaining to watch TP runners, so I'm pretty excited. Um, I've been tasked with starting the timer, so I feel like can I get get just an okay from everybody involved? Nobody's you have my it. okay. Okay, I'll there's an okay my... there. Good. <laughs> and we have one from Jason. That's good enough for me. Uh, let's go ahead and get the show on the road. So the timer is starting. Uh, I guess I'll count down for production. It's going to be... 5, 4, 3... Two, one, go. Neat. Uh, I need to open this. And they're off at the races. So, uh, first things first, in Goron Minds RTA, uh, it's going to remind you guys of a lot of TP categories. It's Gate Clip. Uh, okay, cool. <clears throat> they're all going to pick up this rock and then they're going to make their way to a gate and they're going to try to sit down the rock and uh, side hop, bounce off the rock and up into a little bit of gap into the gate's geometry and then try and roll into that seam in the gate's geometry and bunk out the other side. And then they're going to jump over a bridge. Pretty fast uh, gate clip there from Anno. Beast as well. So we got through first try. TJD getting a little bit held up. Yeah, not too bad from all four. Um, so for those unfamiliar with what the back in time glitch is, um, basically it, in short, it allows you to gain control on the title screen and you can, again, in short, use that to, uh, make a new save that grants you the Orden Sword, the Hylian Shield, access to Wrestling Bow for the Iron Boots, and also Epona very early yep. on. Mm -hmm. Those are all and the main benefits. Yeah, that'll uh, the Iron Boots one particularly will be pretty important in a minute. Uh, and by in a minute, I mean like in like half an hour. Um, <clears throat> but uh, did TJD do fast back in time? No, he, he won't save, but sorry. Um, yeah, the first section of the run is going to be uh, just working through the intro sequence of Twilight Princess, uh, Goats 2, Save Colin, that kind of thing. Or save Taylor. Save Colin, yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, if you are familiar with Twilight Princess, you will be going to you're gonna be looking at the uh, racers rolling right now. Rolling in TP is uh optimally uh, frame perfect. You wanna chain these rolls frame perfectly to uh, not lose speed. If you uh, miss that frame, then you're gonna be losing a little bit of speed each time. So you can tell if a roll is chained, if the uh, HUD at the top right there, the item little readout thing, uh, flashes or not. If it does flash, that is a non-chained roll. If it does, if it does not flash, it is a chained roll. Now, as the title suggests, this is a run that aims to complete the Goron Mines, which is the second dungeon in this game. And interestingly, we uh, don't even do the first one. Yeah, at true. All. Um, we just go straight to, and kind of the reason for this category's existence, I guess, is because Goron Mines in and of itself is very interesting in speedruns, such as all dungeons. And uh, this run just kind of showcases that in a nice, short little category. Mm -hmm. uh, and the meaning of RTA. Oh, sorry, oh, go ahead. So semi. No, it's okay. I was just, I was just observing who all. Wow, everybody slashed the uh, Bacal one except for Anno, I think. Anyway, go on about RTA. Anno living on the edge. Um, the meaning of RTA is basically just a real-time attack, and it's just kind of an abbreviation used to say, like, one sitting, done in one sitting, as most runs are anyway, so. Yeah, it was sort of... Th there's kind of a, a soft, not really rule but or definition, but sort of like an RTA category is a category that doesn't finish the game, whereas a category that ends in percent, low percent, max percent, 100 percent, any percent, uh, does finish the game. It's like RTA is the fastest uh, fastest to do a thing in a game, uh, whereas a percent is the fastest to be in the game with some kind of condition. Yeah, exactly. 
uh, and the term RTA itself is a holdover from uh, the JP running community, which uh, has a whole bunch of history attached to it. You see Anno likely to get the first completed cage break here. Side hop, Ooh, nice. Throws a side hop in for flex. Okay. Yeah. I see. Flavor. The Willoughby's not far behind. Everyone else not far behind either. Yeah. It's, this, uh... it's always going to be pretty close at the beginning of these runs. And then, right. you know, Goats and Bow, that's going to change everything. Yeah, Boats and Go is going to be... Boats and Go. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Keaton. But uh, Boats and Go is going to be sort of the first part where these races are going to really start diverging, probably, uh, because those two uh, things are influenced pretty heavily by RNG. Uh, as you're going to be able to see here, Anarakis starting us off in Goats 2. We uh, skipped the first Goats by uh, doing Back in Time, but Goats 2 is pretty much unavoidable in most categories. Uh... <clears throat> Going to be hurting all these goats, all 20 of these goats into the barn. Uh, the position and facing of the goats is completely consistent, but their sensitivity to Link's presence and or whooping is randomized each run. So, got to be... Oh, wow, that goat is blind as hell. Uh, going to be managing these goats RNG, uh, trying to get them all into the barn as fast as you can. Uh, oh, yeah, you can see uh, on TJD's feed, the goats say B. Uh, on Anarakis's feed, the goats say uh, "goat in," and on Simikin's feed, they say "get in." Wow, was Beast Goats like insanely, inhumanly fast? He's done. Uh, it would appear, yeah. I didn't Jeez. catch what time it was, but it seemed to be pretty quick. Yeah, I don't either. Um, now this is where the route is going to start to diverge a little bit from any percent. Uh, we're not going to do bow right now. Actually, yeah. we're getting him later because there's a trick that involves talking to him that we need to utilize later rather than right now. So we're just going to keep going. Yeah, we'll talk about that when we get to that. <clears throat> yep. Uh, OK, so they're going to be uh, heading over to start the first uh, Twilight section, the first wolf section, rather. Uh, you're going to crawl into a crawl space and then turn into a wolf. Don't worry about the details. You're not missing any story or any plot, I promise you. Uh, I mean, the ghost didn't really split everybody up too badly. It's like, yeah, still like pretty no, close. Nobody got super owned by a Howard. The only really thing that changed was Beast pulled a little bit ahead of Anno. Yeah, um, but they're really close still. Beast and practice the other two are not far behind at all. It bears notes that uh, Beast and Anno, I believe, have the first and second place uh, goats two times respectively. Uh, Beast Beast definitely has the world record in goats. So it was like a f mid fifteen, I think, or a low fifteen. I think so. Yeah, like low fifteen, fifteen, maybe in the thirties. Mm. I want to say that sounds right. Oh, I, I can always check. Uh, but... Yeah, it looks like Animus box break. Beast got the spin. Simi got box break. TDD missed box break. Uh, Who missed box break? Um, uh, Simi did. Or no, okay, Simi's did. disqualified. Um, yeah. No, Simi's fine. TJD missed box break, so he's disqualified. Um, box break. All the runners in this are excellent at this game. Um, you know, breaking that box during that cutscene saves optimally three frames, according to Gymnast, who made the task of any percent years and years ago. And he says about three frames, so obviously it's sort of uh, not 100% certain. But we say three frames because that's a fun number to say. Um, this segment is going to be a lot of movement. You're going to be uh, watching the runners uh, sort of optimizing their wolf movement, uh, especially with dash canceling. Dash canceling is a strategy in which uh, if you dash, there is a period of time uh, that has to run out before you can dash again, unless you interrupt the dash within uh, 10 frames of the dash beginning, either by attacking or jumping off a ledge or some other way to uh, interrupt the animation of dashing. And uh, runners are going to be sort of dashing and then jumping or dashing and attacking to keep their speed up as high as they can for as long as they can. And this this segment is all about vectoring and dash canceling and <clears throat> being very technically input, very, very technically uh, proficient. You can even do uh, a little bit of dash canceling while swimming, too. I saw Simi do that a little bit. Oh, I didn't notice that. So it's a joke, Katie. Don't worry about it. Oh, Anno skipping the meta text. Uh, Beast, unfortunately, kind of getting uh, fucked with, with by the uh, meta text trigger there. 
Uh, the idea of this section is that you need to crumble the stairway so that you can get the uh the mid be like you need to do it like this you idiot and learn how to mid jump. Um, but you can avoid the ugh. What are you doing? Text by landing not in the water. Uh, but sometimes you can land not in the water, but you didn't quite knock away enough of the rubble to um trigger that minute jump prompt. And another thing about minute jumping is going to be uh, anytime that there is a minute jump uh, in, after a text box, except for one notable exception that we will not see in this one. Uh, anytime there's a minute jump after a text box, uh, you have a, a one frame window to input a jump attack so that boy, you sure. Th no, that's sort of chills. Get many. Um, Oh, Anno got the thing that he does that nobody else does. Um, you have one frame to get the uh, get a jump input in and skip the animation of Midna flying over to wherever it is that she's going to be. Yeah, and that's just some something you kind of mash for. Um, uh, except for the one at the top it, of the but... staircase. There, uh, you can time that one because that one, yeah, the, uh, that one's different in the in the manner which you uh, you know it, it's right when you skip that cutscene, so you can actually time it for when you do that. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot easier. But even then, it can still be missed. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Anna <clears> with a, a small lead, but this is pretty close. Like, Beast and Simi on a really great sink into that uh, uh, load zone. Welcome back, Goof. Yeah, everyone's still really close. I hope that it remains that way the whole time. It's always fun to have a fully close race. Well, we'll find out as Anna Arrakis and uh, shortly after everyone else approaches Sword and Shield Skip. Yeah, that's true. So, hard trick coming up here. We get to once again see our lovely friend Hugo, and... It's his birthday, by the way. Oh, it's always his birthday. Um, so, wish him happy birthday, everyone. Make sure you do that. That'll help um, improve the luck for our runners here. But we need to basically use him, position him in a very precise spot. Well, not super precise, but in generally the right position. A precise range of positions. Yes, exactly. And then, according to that position, accommodate our timing for jump attacking accordingly. And use that jump to get over a Midna trigger that forces you to turn around and into the trigger that allows you into the Twilight. So yeah. this is... When, when, when people learn new runs, or runs for this game, new runners, they're usually... Uh, this is usually the first kind of gate into that. It's, it's the first hard trick in the run. But I, I would say it's not too bad. You just you just practice it enough and you get I it. I would but... say it's extremely too bad. It's very, very hard to learn. And it is hard to learn, yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, that was a little bit scary. Anorak uh, has missed it, unfortunately. So he's yeah. going to have to reload the area to reset looks Hugo's good. health. Otherwise, uh, Hugo will die right, if he makes another it. attempt. Simi gets it, and TGD gets it. So Anno, with Dang. the early lead, is now behind everybody else after failing a sword and shield skip, unfortunately. Um, the idea behind this, by the way, is that uh, the game, when calculating a jump attack speed, uh, if the thing that Link is targeting is either uh, above his feet or over a void, which is to say, you know, over a void plane, like a giant pit or out of bounds, uh, the game will give the uh, give Link extra jump attack speed and will give him a long jump attack or LJA for short. This is sort of the bread and butter glitch of Twilight Princess. And uh, in this case, we call it an ELJA for enemy LJA. Uh, jumping over Hugo, knocking him up in the air, getting an LJA off of him into the trigger. Exactly. And the other factor that makes the trick happens if you touch the ground on it, while the twilight trigger can happen even if you're in the air and you hit yeah. it. So that's kind of the goal. You get high enough into the air and far enough and hit that air trigger. You, yep. just, you jump over the bad one. And everybody uh, nailing the uh, minute chart tutorial fight. This is basically a, a scripted sort of sequence where you... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, at Anarakis, don't kill bugs. Kappa. Um, <laughs> Beast, Simi, and TGD are all getting the Vessel of Light from uh, the spirit Farron. And uh, they will be clearing Farron's Twilight for this category because this category needs to do uh, uh, some backtracking through Farron. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, isn't Japanese technically fastest for Gora Mines RTA, or is there a different language? Japanese is the fastest category for GMRTA by, I think, a second? A second or two. I think it's one second, though. Yeah, um, and that is due to text. Simikins is utilizing that here. Because yeah. uh, in this run, we don't, of course, have to worry about trying to do map glitch, so there's no time loss there. Exactly, yeah. The, the reason that map... Or, 
The reason that Japanese isn't used more commonly in um, Twilight Princess runs is because it lacks a crucial glitch for many categories. Um, oh, pay attention here to Simeon Beast. They're going to be canceling some Koro attacks by um, turning off their senses before uh, they kill the bugs. TGG as well. And, oh, uh, yeah. Since Koro isn't loaded, he won't give his little dialogue. I'm like, wow, the bugs disappeared. I'm surprised we didn't find that sooner. I don't know. But yeah, nice little time save there we found recently. Um, I didn't notice who all got the uh, the map cancel into the um, Farron cutscene. But that saves a second or two. These post-gate yeah. bugs are kind of a nuisance sometimes. They can be uh, very irksome, depending on RNG. But it looks like uh, nobody's having too much trouble with them. There's lots of little optimizations we use to speed up the bug collecting sections of this game because you know otherwise there's only so much you can do to go faster right this is an hd where there are fewer bugs and the uh, tears collect instantly well we're collecting some bugs do you have time for a donation or two collecting donations is even better than collecting bugs yo uh i have 20 dollars here from mini mini 352 our luigi's mansion runner of some repute who says gg GG. GG. Uh, I then also have $25 from. Wow. Oh, hey, look at this. Mini Mini 352. Who says, I forgot about the boomerang incentive, so have yep. another $25. Yep, yep me too. Um, and what a lovely way to talk about that there is a boomerang uh, prize incentive right now. If you donate $25, you are entered to win a Twilight Princess boomerang. It looks gorgeous. I'm like staring at the picture. It's right so now. cool. It's insanely cool. It's so pretty. And that it can be a time during this run, the Super Mario 64 run or the Resident Evil 2 run. So uh, get your donations in for that. That's May pretty. I see it? Uh, uh, see it. Exclamation mark schedule. Oh, yes, it is on there. Um, Thank you. Yo, did Simi do the unsafe strat and then fail it? He might have. I think he did the unsafe strat for uh, burrowing bugs. Um, all right, it's time for EMS the first. Uh, Simi here, and then shortly afterwards, Beast and TJD are going to be doing EMS, which is a super jump off of Jamal's arm there. That is a and very then, nice boomerang. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, they're going to be skipping the rest of the fight. To uh, Well, they do... They do EMS super jump. They don't do EMS just yet, but they need to go get these two bugs so that they can uh, sort of have uh, Farron's Twilight in almost completed state so that they can uh, finish it off when it is more convenient. He's getting a little bit hassled by the uh, Shadow Beast here. All right, did you already explain EMS? Uh, I mean, kind of. It's you're you're luring Jamal over to the wall, and then you get a super jump, which is a minute charge attack. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, you get a minute charge attack um, off of a specific part of Jamal in an animation, and uh, that will give you a very very high jump onto that ledge, and you can go out of bounds. Simi will yeah, show it exactly. off in a couple seconds. Is he doing left side? Oh, he's gonna go for the left side. That RNG. I know that Anno is pretty practiced with it. Anno is extremely practiced with the left side, but he's failing it as well. That's unfortunate. He didn't get it that time, though, unfortunately. Do not kill them both by accident, my friend. Do not do yeah, that here. Yeah, be careful, please. Ooh, that was... That kind of had me nervous, actually. Okay, we're good. Um, uh, in this run, oh, no. we do EMS twice. Oh, guys. Oh, this is Okay, TJD, TJD got it. He's he's off at the races. Everybody else is getting really dunk on, dunked on by Jamal right now. Jamal is the name of the shadow base that we're using the EMS off of. Okay, that so TGD's worked. pulling ahead here. Oh yeah, vastly. Anno's out. Oh, that was his first EMS. Oh geez, yeah, all beans. Um, we still got to see a second EMS from him along with the others. Base is off of the races. I'm yeah, trying to that's... actually think, did TGD go up and get the last two bugs? I am almost certain that he did. I'm hoping that he didn't forget. <laughs> Muscle memory right. maybe made him forget to uh, go and do that and then do the second EMS, but I don't know. Uh, we'll find out later, I guess. Um, Anno has the tears. 
Um, but yeah, uh, now we are in the grow section where, uh, obviously, if you aren't familiar with TV speedrunning, you're like, oh, wow, really? Is that a thing? But yeah, you can straight up just uh, hop over to the grove. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump. Hop, skip, and a jump uh, away from the, uh, the South Farron messenger fight. Uh, or North Farron messenger fight, rather. And uh, you can just run out of bounds and get the uh, Master Sword early uh, without having to beat the first three dungeons. And that will be hugely important for this route, as with many other routes, because getting a Master Sword, uh, obviously, the Master Sword goes... Wow, I cannot speak today. Jesus Christ. Uh, the Master Sword does double damage uh, versus the Orden Sword, as well as giving you the ability to transform and warp, uh, which are very importante. Uh, be careful, Anno. Yeah, Anno's really having a rough time with Jamal here. He really being a nuisance. Gets the left side. Okay, he there we though. go. And he's, he's so good at that side. It's awesome. He's insane. He, he practices the fuck out of it. Yeah, and he's a. It, it is a little bit faster, of course. Yeah, given the right RNG. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it only works with one swing as a pair, as a opposed to two. Yeah. Out of the three that the Shadow Beast will do. You'll see. Um, TGD just did it, but you'll see Beast do it. Uh, right now. Um, the final sort of attack on Skull Kid during the Skull Kid chase is uh angled such that they are going to fall down off of this ledge and land down on the ground. You can see Skull can look uh, straight ahead as opposed to up. And uh, that just gets you a little bit closer to the door, saves a little bit of time, since you're, you know, closer to where you need to be. And uh, the Skull can fight proper that TGD is in and Beast is entering. Uh, you just need to hit him three times. Striking a uh, puppet starts the timer for him to blow his horn. His horn is when he's vulnerable. You attack him during that, and you're good. Might I interest you in some more donations while we if fight like, the Skull yeah. Kid? Sure. Wonderful. Uh, here's thirty dollars from Katie slash Octopus Garden ninety eight. Thank Thanks. you for uh, giving us options. And they said, just wanted to donate something small to uh, all my friends and the charity of choice. You all have a special place in my heart, and I hope all of you have the odds in your favor. Love you all so much. Much love. Heart. Clap. Very sweet. Thanks, Katie. Also, fifty dollars from GMO Pasta, who just says lava. Pasta, lava. Yeah, lava! that will be that will be coming into play later on. Thank you. Uh, TGD entering the hardest Master Sword puzzle in the series. He's going to be uh, hopping around these platforms. The idea is to get both of those statues on uh, the. Uh, he's the probably platform. googling it right now. Yeah, exactly. The two marked squares. And uh, one statue follows your movements, the other does the inverse of your movements. And uh, it's a very fun uh, puzzle if you do not have the solution ingrained into your skull irrevocably. Which most TP runners do. Uh, not a crazy delta between anyone besides Anno. And like, even then, that's a recoverable uh, gap. Still anybody yeah, game. Be. So TGD with a mid-22 Master Sword in a, a race with safe back in time. That's pretty respectable. In fact, I would say I would go so far as to say it's good. That's a good time, TGD. Hey, you know what? I would say they're all good. Bold move, but I respect it. I mean, hey, relatively... Even if it's a slow run, it's a very fast time to beat Goran Mines. They do look like Neptunes, don't they? Um, oh yeah, I, don't, I forgot to point it out, but uh, during this cutscene, uh, there's a little bit of time to talk. Uh, during that puzzle, there are two frames during the jumping animation in between the little platforms where you can input a sense press, and uh, that'll make the screen flash. So if you saw people screen flashing, that was them getting one of those inputs. Yep, there's a total of 12 sense presses you can get, and however many you get out of 12 is definitely a very accurate indicator of how your run will go from there. Correct. Always. I wasn't counting. I wasn't either. I was too busy thinking about the boomerang. So the quality you, of all these runs is going to remain a, an exciting mystery. Yep. We'll just have to sit here and find out. Um, Might I cut in again with um, a boomerang, you say? We have a little bit of time, yeah. 
Uh, because I have a, a $20 donation here from greedy old Ka who says, a boomerang, you say? Ka, I have bad news. <laughs> um, Five yeah, bucks yes. short, bud. <laughs> if you would like to be entered to win that boomerang, it is a $25 donation, and be sure to select the reward on Tiltify when you donate yeah. so that you'll be entered to win. Um, but... Yes, a boomerang, we say. We do say a boomerang, yes? We do say a boomerang. The run does boomerang. not have a boomerang, but you could. If you that donate is $25 true. or more, you can always donate more than 25 That's true. That is not a maximum. Yep. Max percent's over with. Max percent is done. Well, or the, mine's RTA now. The existence of this real-life boomerang makes up for the absence of the boomerang in this run. Precisely, yes. All right, getting back underway with the route. Uh, it looks like uh, TGD is the first to re-enter Fair and Twilight. He's going to be finishing up Farron Twilight. Uh, everybody, uh, get your Link E's ready. Humano. E. And uh, there's a one frame backflip. Just give him some Midna text here. Let's see if he gets it. Sick flip. Very nice. It's going to go ahead and make a save here. The sword accepted Anarachus as its master. And Beast becoming an E as well. <laughs> nice bonk, TJ. Nice bonk. Let's go, dude. Beast not following the route, unfortunately. So now we're obviously going to see side hop bit. Haha, <laughs> yeah. just kidding. Um, but we do need to do bit here. Yeah. And I think it would also be cool if he equipped something during it. If only there was a trick, like back in time, but you could equip. If only. I, it would probably be called like back in time equipped, I imagine, or something. That'd be stupid. You could abbreviate that uh, to bite. Would Nobody stupid. would call it trick that. I can imagine that. The abbreviation would be bite. Can you believe it? Lol. So, uh, TGD, due to, and shortly following everybody else, due to some uh, complicated shenaniganry with save files and map layers and whatnot, has loaded himself into the King, B King Boblin 1 fight, uh, which is the means by which he will enter Kakariko Village and uh, proceed with the route. So, this is RNG, uh, whether or not King Boblin will turn every three slashes, but he got pretty good RNG and he managed it very well. Yeah, that was and, a pretty uh, good fight. Yeah. Phase two here. Uh, there's a quick, there's a cool little one cycle you can do during this phase where you uh, turn around midway on the bridge and get two slashes on. I assume that everybody will get it because it's not insanely difficult. And uh, Beast was not quite as lucky. Fairly practiced. Oh, yeah. Very Beast is fight. experiencing several. There we go. He got it under control. And we're getting the double sec flip before the sec flip. Very nice. Simi's well, done. Sick flip that matters. Sick flip, Anarachus. Very sick flip. will be reloading Kakariko by entering and then immediately exiting the sa the sanctuary. Oh, yo, uh, I think will... Beast just got the sitting animation. Oh, did he? That's cool. I think I saw it. Yeah, that was sick. Um, But what that'll do for TJD and everybody else uh, will be load the messenger fight in because... Uh, Kakariko is in a, a strange sort of uh, state after uh, doing KB1 through Bite. Killing these uh, Shadow Beasts is human so that he can get the uh, Vessel as human, which is slightly faster than uh, getting the Vessel as Wolf because your speed in the uh, the Spirit Pool uh, is capped as Wolf where it is not as a, as a human form. So, a fairly recent um, optimization that uh, I think Beast is... The first one to formally document. And uh, now it's time for Fair and Twilight. Um, Fair and Twilight, uh, you, it, or Elden Twilight. If you saw Fair and Twilight, it'll be more of that, uh, except the positions of the bucks will be different. But mostly, it's a lot of movement tech, um, a lot of uh, optimizing your uh, your your dashing and your vectors. Uh, there will be. Uh, one major inst or two major instances of like cool tricks. Uh, the first of which is right here from TGD. Very cool. That is called well clip. You clip into the well. It's very easy. 
Um, just side hop right in, you're good. One button. He's gonna go ahead and transform Wolf and uh, try to get all of these bugs in one minute charge. It's a little bit touchy, but these guys are pretty good at this game. Eh, not quite, but you know, like I said, it's not very good at the game anymore, man. Yeah, TGD, you're awful at the game. Washed. Um, no, TGD is much better at this game than I am. Um, but it's 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 really finicky, and like even with like I've practiced uh, basement bugs for hours, and I still can't get it consistently. Bases practice it for more hours than I have, though. Uh, and the other trick that will be coming up later on, uh, I will point out, but it is called Wolf Bomb House Skip, and it's very cool looking. Yeah, normally there's an option to also do it as human with the boomerang, but uh, seeing as we skip getting the boomerang in this run, it is actually required now to do the wolf method, which some which some say is harder. I, I don't think it's that bad, but... Wolf is... So, I, it's impossible. I, I can't do it to save my life. I will never do wolf bomb house skipping runs. Oh, that's okay. Every, everyone's different with it, you know? Um, I, I found a setup that I feel like made it, like, go from super impossible to super easy for me, but... Is it, is it like, it's not super easy, but, but more custom easy. Because I know Kate has, like, her own setup. Or MoFat. I don't know if I remember seeing that one. I I was using one... You know, actually, I don't I don't, rem I don't remember who uh, who said if it was. It was just, mm. I think Zach um, did a re-upload of it, and then I just took it from there, but... Oh, yeah, Zach's like that, dude. Um, TGD is doing uh, Eld In, which is one of the most technical parts of this uh, segment, in my opinion. Uh, a lot of movement optimization. Yeah, a little bit off that cycle there for the bugs movement. Um, but it's, it's a lot of, like being extremely conscious of where you are and what buttons you're pressing, uh, which obviously sounds like a thing that you'd be doing throughout, throughout the entirety of a speed run, but uh, this part particularly so, because uh, a lot of tight movement and uh, targeting priority between the bull winds and the bugs and whatnot. Yeah, I feel like the end is pretty satisfying to go through fast. Beast going for the yellow rupee, even though this is GMRTA. <laughs> uh, in any percent, you would, be, you would want to get that yellow rupee so you can uh, repair the cannon, but... Uh, GMRTA wants to be ahead is. of the other runners financially. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna buy out the uh, the race. Uh, yeah, he wants to bribe Bo exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah, this this category does not have a rupee route in any sort of capacity. Uh, looks like TDD is going to be approaching uh, bomb house skip. First, he's got to get the uh, bug here in Barman's bombs. No previous booty bump, yeah. No precious one either. There you go. Third try, TGD. Oh, you'll see. You saw Simi just then pushing that bug a little bit, just nutting it very subtly. Um, that's a tiny, tiny optimization to move the bug a little bit closer to where you want to be later on, so you can attack it and save a couple frames of movement. You'll see uh, high-level runners do that kind of thing, where they're just like nudging bugs, uh, particularly the first bug in the neighbor twilight comes to mind. All right, uh, seeing bomb house skip from TGD now. Yep. So see the wolf set up here. Up, and then good stuff. Uh, line up his angle. Here we go. That looks a little bit too far to the right. He nailed that it, was good. That was good. Oh, now he's boy. struggling with the movement after. He had a quick climb. It was worth very sick quick climb there. I actually yeah. did not even know about that one. I usually just jump attack up there. The quick climbs are stupid. I hate them. They're never worth. There's some that are super free, of course, but nah. you know, We've known about those ones for ages. Base nailing it. Oh, oh my god, that was terrifyingly close. He, got, he almost got carded, carded as well. Jeez, I don't know if I've seen that happen yet. All right, Simi got it. Yeah, everybody having... Uh, these guys are all insanely practiced Wolf Bomb House Skip, by the way. They're like, you know, these guys are the cream of the crop. So, I wasn't expecting anyone to fail Wolf Bomb House Skip. Uh, let's see. Did TG I guess TGD had pretty good RNG with the uh, Watchtower bug. This uh, bug, you can manipulate it to uh, hit you, just like Beast did just then, uh, and that will cause it to run out into the center room. You can't hit it until it's left that little alcove that you find it in. It has uh, invulnerability until that point. You can do uh, a weird movement setup thing that mostly works, I think, but not for Beast sometimes. Or you can do uh, a Nimzo thing that he... Uh, sort of documented where you just get hit by it and it works. Simi failing the game or side hop off of the watchtower, unfortunately. 
not quite gaming, unfortunately. See some quick climbs here from, uh, or sorry, just one from TGD. Yeah. Yeah, the DMT the comes one. pretty pretty safe. DMT being Death Mountain Trail and not whatever the drug is called. I don't actually know what it is short for. And Anarachus approaching Wolf Bombhouse Skip. Expecting no trouble, obviously. Yeah, everybody else uh, finishing up uh, Elden Twilight. They are going to be uh, completing this uh, uh, messenger fight. Uh, because this is not low percent, so they don't have to skip it. Nice Anna, very clean. And uh, get those last two bugs, and then we're going to be starting on our way to getting text displacement. And uh, so we talked about Taming Epona. We talked about Wrestling Bow. If you know this game casually, you will be aware that in order to get into Goron Mines, you need to wrestle uh, Gore Koron uh, with the Iron Boots in order to gain access so that they can be like, yes, you are worthy of our respect and you can go do it. But the thing is that you are kind of locked out of doing that whole sequence uh, if you do EMS, which we did. Uh, so the way around that is uh, we need to go get text displacement. Text displacement is a glitch where if you are able to exit a scripted dialogue, like in a cutscene of some variety, um, the game will store a flag in memory of how far through that conversation you are. So that, you know, if you're, you know, like halfway through a conversation with Bo, uh, for instance, uh, and you somehow get it, are able to get out of that conversation, uh, which the game doesn't expect you to be able to do, you can take that and transfer it to some other NPC. For instance, maybe Gor Koron. The nice, the nice thing about the conversation with Bo is that it's broken because we did back in time. So the state of Orden is a little bit scuffed so that you have to advance Bo's dialogue manually, which you would not normally be able to do. So the runners are going to be... Hi, Porch. Uh, we are going... The runners are going to be <clears throat> running back uh, to Orden to get the Iron Boots first, and then uh, they're going to leave and come back again to talk to Bo a little bit. Or strike that, reverse it. Um, they're going to go and talk to, talk to Bo to get text displacement. And then go gain access to our mines, and then go back to get the iron boots, and then come back to our mines so they can do the dungeon. Now, this method of getting text displacement from bow is definitely the easiest one to do in this game. There's other methods, uh, other ways you can get it, like with Koro. Uh, I think Yeti TD is probably easier, isn't it? Say that again. Yeti TD is probably easier, but it's just not possible or useful in the category. Bo's just easy in the sense that you don't have to do anything crazy. You just you just have mm -hmm. to talk to him a certain mm -hmm. amount of times, and that's it. Yetta Yetta was pretty easy too, especially if you unplugged your controller. But yeah, they all have like slightly different ways of getting it, but this one just involves talking to him a certain amount of times. I believe it's four, uh, four times you talk to Bo, advance his text boxes, and then you just leave, because now you have text displacement active, and we are good to go to Death Mountain and use it. Yep. And now that we have that flag uh, of the of Texas placement, uh, like you said, you can just go over to talk to Gore Koron. He'll be like, uh, he'll be halfway through saying, "Yeah, you did it. You wrestled me very well. You can go on in," <laughs> because that's just how the game works. It's very convenient. Yeah, it's just very interesting how that room works after you've done early Master Sword, but we have found ways around it, so it yeah. works. We used to think that you would have to go in and like. Uh, like reload the area or like use a spinner to get through uh, because the the Gorons that are blocking the way don't actually move after Gorkoron says go ahead in um, but uh, and for a while we were like okay well I guess we got to go make sure that they move uh, but no the the, the invisible wall that uh, was placed there is no longer there after yeah the collision so. does move it just didn't seem so at first yeah <clears throat> may I sneak in some donations real quick yeah we got time uh, I have five dollars here from Arju, who says, "Let me guess, doing glitches and stupids all over the place. Kids today nice. have no appreciation for the game. Classic. When I was young, this game took me months to finish, and now people finish in just a few minutes." I've heard this before. <laughs> a, a, a lovely sentiment. Thank you. Thank you for uh, for dissing our glitches. Yes, um, <laughs> we are cheaters. 
true. Uh, I also have five dollars <laughs> here for you from Skyrion, who says, "GMRTA, best cat. Best of luck to the bewildered Anakins downstairs." My favorite TG TP TGD runner. <laughs> That works, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm works. pretty sure. I'm fairly certain. It did correctly. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Luckily, yeah. nobody fell through the floor and uh, on the walk up, because there's a uh, some of the uh, geometry tiles or some of the floor tiles uh, in the little tunnel there where the Gorons are rolling past are a little bit misaligned, and you can side hop straight through them and uh, fall through the floor, and it's kind of sad. Yeah, TGD the first to uh, get that tags and warp it back to. Uh, Farron so that he can go get the Iron Boots proper. Yep, we did what we needed to do with text displacement and some of you might be thinking, well, now wouldn't it be time to enter the dungeon? No, we don't have the boots. We need those really bad. Yeah. So let's go get them. Yeah, this isn't one of those things where it's just like, oh, we can do a bunch of glitches to skip the, uh, the dungeon item. Nope, we need those. Yeah, you kind of have to do things in a funny order here, but that's just the way it goes. And you would think that it would be uh, faster to uh, get the uh, Warden Warp Portal because you're doing all this backtracking. But no, it's uh, it, it's you're locked out of it, I believe, by back in time. That's true, Red Penguin. No, you're right. <laughs> Clearly a rando runner in chat. <laughs> <laughs> rando has the most niche tricks. It's insane. I love, dude. Some of the tricks in Rando are so fucking good. Um, yeah. So, uh, bow, uh, wrestling bow is a lot like rock paper scissors, in that there are uh, three possible things that he can do, and uh, you need to do one of those three things to counter the thing that he does. Uh, in the first phase, he can stand still, he can grab, or he can slap, uh, or he can sidestep. Um, so four things. It's not like Robert's scissors at all. Ignore what I said. Um, he's uh, more likely to be nice uh, statistically in the first phase. Um, but the second phase, he will no longer uh, stand still as a, as an option. So he's a little bit meaner. A little bit more so, rude. <clears throat> yep. TGG's going to open with a slap. Unfortunately, gets bad RNG. Good RNG on the second one, though. And uh, yeah, if you match fast enough... Yeah, round for him. About 11, 11 to 13 hertz, or 11 to 15 hertz, technically, um, which is matches per second. Uh, you can push him out of the ring in just one cycle. It's a common run killer at the beginning of any percent runs. Mm -hmm. But having at it in high the levels. middle of the run can be even worse. Yeah. Or 40 minutes or an hour in, like, uh, this category or hundo. Yep. So it looks like TGD wasn't too, too hassled by Bell. Beast and Simi both entering the second phase of their fights. Simi pulling slightly ahead of Beast. And he's still making his way to Orden to wrestle. And uh, the other ones are in the middle oh, of it. Oh man, Beast is getting kind of dunked on. Okay, he went safe and got a grab there. That's yeah. how, that's kind of how I do it. I always go for the slap first to, to go for the first cycle, one cycle. Yeah. And if I don't get it, I just mash A from there. Yeah, opening with the slap is optimal if you want to get the one cycle. But uh, opening with grab is optimal if you want to be safe. Yeah, exactly. But we always go for what's fast, don't we? Exactly. I never go for safe strats. That's why I don't hit PB ever. Um... Being safe is dumb. Uh... Yeah, I mean, that kind of it didn't really change the lead too too much everybody's still pretty pretty close tgd still has a little bit of a lead over everybody else and they're still bringing up the rear uh tgd is going to do a glitch called early elevator where he's going to jump out of bounds turn into a wolf and then jump attack uh to uh, a little point that you can see right there and uh, that allows him to get to the elevator early you'll never believe why the trick is called that it's a pretty cool little trick. I'm not sure. I've never tried it myself, so I'm not entirely sure how difficult it is, but I, it doesn't seem super, super complicated. Somebody crashed, probably. There's a lot of ways to crash in this game. Yeah, it's not too bad. You just have to, like, know what to do. Good bow fight for Mano. Was it the first or second phase? That was the first phase. Yeah, everybody else heading into the into the dungeon proper.
Man in Arrakis, you are not having a great time with Bo. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Pipe jump? CGD? No? Coward. This isn't good. Sammy, if you don't go to pipe jump, you're a coward. Same for Beast, but I know he won't. Oh, no. Anno, please. Oh, no. Behave, Bo, please. Okay. okay. Got it. That's good. Simikins is a coward. As is Beast. And you're going to go to go for pipe jump, right? Pipe jump, by the way, is um the the uh, pipe instead of uh, jumping over the little flame jet that you can see uh, in the first section of the room. Uh, you can instead jump onto a pipe that has tiny, tiny bit of collision, uh, standable uh, ground geometry, uh, and it's very precise and stupid. It's an aisle strat. Ooh. This third flame skip here that Simi's doing is kind of weird and dumb. It's yeah, there are a couple ways to do it, but uh, that one second try though. He blazed through the second flame skip. I love yeah, the way I didn't he even did see that it. one. He he did it in a fast way that I've never seen someone do yet. I, it, it didn't seem safe, but it it I guess it's consistent. It must be. Yeah. It bears note that Simi was a very long time world record holder in this category. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So he is uh he's pretty good at this category actually, funnily enough. Oh, uh Good luck on Risky with Time Saver to note. Beast gets it, nice. Saves four seconds only. Let's see if Anno goes for it. Eventually. Yeah. Um, there's a cool little clip that these guys are gonna do here. TV oh, oh they did it. Like... <laughs> we have we have the account now named Risky But Time Saver to note. Um, oh, yeah, this, this is called Slab Clip because you clip through a slab. We're very creative at naming things here in the Brother Princess community. I mean, it makes sense. And uh, it's not it's not as hard as it looks, but it's also not insanely perfectly easy. So uh, this part of the run is going to be uh, making the way through uh, getting the key shards, except for one of them, I assume. <clears throat> so, T to D with his first key shard. And uh, Anno entering Goron Mines. So this segment uh, is going to be uh, just making the way through the dungeon. Uh, nothing super insane going on right this red hot second, but uh, there will be some, some flashy tricks in a little bit. We're approaching the room where you walk on the ceiling. Very, yep. very slowly. Exciting. Um, it saves a lot of time in this segment on the Wii version for one reason, and that's because only on the Wii version you can do a glitch that allows you to unequip the iron boots on your way up the magnet and still stay on the ceiling so you can just run at full speed. Mm -hmm. Can't do that on GameCube, so this part is just kind of slow. Yeah. It bears note, the Wii version, Wii version 1.0, Wii version 1.2 does not have the glitch. Yeah, that is good to note. Yeah, uh, you can do a combo of sword slashes that you can see Beast and T2D doing and Simi. Um, this specific combo of slashes uh, gets you uh, a little bit faster along, but obviously if you clank on something, you're going to be uh, losing a bit of time because it stops you. Unfortunately, this is an HD, so there is sword clanking. All right, Anna, good luck. Oh, Man. no. That's okay. Do we have the lava emote? Pasta? Anyone? But yeah, it's uh, it, it's it's risky, but it is a time saver to note. We do have lava, nice. And it's been noted. Yep. It saves four seconds only. There you go, second try. Good job. It is a very tight trick. It's like, like your uh, movement has to be uh, pretty precise to uh, get there in time to, to uh, pull it off. Do you have time for a few more donuts? 
Uh, yeah, we got nothing coming up right this about a hot second. Nice, because we have $25 from Camex. Let's go, Camex. No comment, but uh, does get you entered into that, uh, to get that boomerang. Yep. So, always a good idea. Also have two whole dollars from Bazon Tunic, who says, I know it's not much, but I don't have a lot to give. That's it's more just, than zero. It is. It's just too good of a cause to pass up. I, I definitely agree. It is more than zero, and every little bit counts. Uh, don't feel the need to donate past your budget. We appreciate anything that you have to give. Thank you, everyone. I'd like to mention the trick that Beast just did there, where you can clip through that gate by just walking into it as a wolf. It is extremely precise, but... uh. As a wolf, you can you can clip through like one very very small spot in the gate by just climbing through it, and yeah. you just go through. It's also a little risky because if you don't get in a timely fashion, those tactics are gonna own you. Yeah, and you can also void, can't you? If you do it wrong. Oh uh, yeah. You'll just you'll just get crushed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's there's a crush void if you do it a little bit a little bit incorrectly. Yeah, it is gonna come down to KSS. KSS is coming up in a little bit. Yeah, that's um, a fun KS one. KSS stands for uh, key shard skip. Which is when you skip a key shard, funnily enough. Um, <laughs> yep, the creative naming strikes again. Uh, the idea is you are, they are going to be uh, lining themselves up on a rotating platform and uh, jumping at a, uh, a on one specific frame uh, that will allow them to grab a higher ledge than they would otherwise be able to grab. See Simi approaching it now. He is very good at this game. Very oh. close. That was probably one frame late. That, that looked complete. a little late, too. That looked good. I don't know. Sometimes it just doesn't work for yeah. some reason. This trick is very hard. It's very hard. Um, I was going for more of a setup. Yeah, I think you can get it seventh try and it still breaks even. Like, this this trick saves a lot of time. Nice. Beast getting it slightly before. So Beast takes a tiny lead over Semi now. T to D. Oh, look, they're well. neck and neck now. Yep. That's crazy. See me taking a riskier jump off. Beast being a little bit safer. Safer. Wanted to secure that lead there. Yeah, so Simi's back in the lead. Now we got TGD going for his KSS. Mm -hmm. See how well it goes. Oh, TGD, this is rough. Uh, Simi and Beast entering the Dan Goro fight. Uh, this fight, uh, there is a one cycle, but it is the RNG dependent. Hopefully these guys get, all get it very, very quickly. It looks like s neither of them got it, did they? Oh, did Beast get it? Okay, nice. So Beast is like a second or two ahead. Nice. Okay, Beast yeah, got it. Just Good a stuff. little bit. And I'm getting that clip pretty quick. And TGD entering the fight. So uh, you'll see Sammy, unfortunately, getting a, a text there. Uh, if you slash your sword and then immediately uh, press A, you can get a roll without talking oh, to Oh, no. Girl. But lava. Sorry, TJD. You voided. Um, oh, is Andrew going to get the cool thing? Yeah, the cool thing. I love that thing. Um, but yeah, if you slash, uh, Dan Goro has a massive talking radius. You can talk to him from miles away. So uh, you got to slash your sword so you can get a roll. Saves you a little bit of time movement. The walkie slashy, they call it. Yeah. Sick aim, Simi. We find Anno approaching or making his way to Dangoro. Yep. We'll see how his KSS goes. He's the one that made uh, one of the setups. After all, he's he's worked hard on KSS. Yeah, true. Uh, I wonder who all is going to go for the parkour. I think I I know that Anno probably won't go for it. Simi might. T D might. I imagine somebody's got to flex and do it. You know. Yeah. And approaching KSS. Good luck. 
Unfortunate. Nice second oh, try. Hey, That's very not fast. Bad. He made up a lot of time just then by second try KSS. No, the parkour is doable on GC. Um, they, they got the bow. By the way, they got the dungeon item, the bow. Uh, that'll be important because uh, the uh, farmer's going to be killing uh, killing pharaohs with bow only, if I recall correctly. That was the plan that yep. I had heard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So important to have. Uh, everybody's making their way back to the central hub area because now that they have the uh, boss key and the bow, they can all uh, go and enter the 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 boss battle itself and finish the dungeon. Yeah, and funny enough, despite the you know the game's very linear uh, playstyle. It is much, much faster to just oh, and turn around after just getting the boss key than it is to proceed to the next room. Yep. Oh, uh, so Beast and Simi, neither of them going for the parkour. Both of them electing to pull the Beemos. They are neck and neck, though. TGD is slightly way behind. Anorak is behind them by probably a minute or so. Do I have oh time God, to sneak in one quick donation? Yeah, we got time. Here's $20 for you from developer Rowan, who says, my favorite Zelda game. Despite having played this a lot, I feel like I'm seeing this game for the first time watching these awesome runners go to work. Yeah, man. Uh, it, it if, if you're like not familiar with TP speedrunning, it's a whole different universe from casual play. It's kind of insane what these guys can do. Um, did Beast fall in the water or something? What happened? He lost the lead. Oh, I didn't catch it. Why is he? Why is he behind? I don't know, but it, it's it, it's looking like a like a semi game right now. Yeah, it's uh, it's looking like that's going to be the case. But uh, the other runners like, are not far behind. Yeah. Miss dropping from the crane. From yeah. The crane. Ah, okay, that does make sense. Requipped iron boots, that'll do it. Yeah, yeah, that or just misaligning the jump attack. Yeah. Unfortunate. So we got Simikins in the Fires fight now. This fight is very straightforward. There's not really a whole lot to it. There's a couple strategies, but uh, probably the simplest fight in the game, really. Uh, the simplest boss fight by far, yeah. Boss fight, yeah. Um. It's going to take a hot minute, though, because they are using bow only. Generally, you would be uh, shooting fires with the bow to make him uh, vulnerable and run around, and you would equip the iron boots to stick to the, the magnetized floor and grab the uh, the chains that are dangling from him, and that would pull him down. You could hit him with a sword. But uh, for funsies, these guys are doing the fight with the bow only, so uh, it does a little bit less damage than the sword, uh, or at least less damage dense, rather. So uh, enjoy the sounds of... Uh, this fight music and uh, fire stomping around. <laughs> that was cool. Shot of uh, an arrow, a fire arrow, just sailing past TGD as he was uh, in the uh, cutscene there. We'll probably have all four runners in the boss fight at the same time, I imagine. Oh, yeah. I assume so. I don't know exactly how long Fyrus takes with only Anno's the bow. not doing the parkour but... either. Oh, is Anno doing the parkour? No, he's not. It's nobody did the parkour. It's kind of lame. Everyone's washed. It's really cool looking, by the way. I just, you guys just have to take my word for it. There's parkour that you can do in the hub room to uh, get to the boss door. And uh, it looks really awesome. Nice bunk. <laughs> so how many arrows does it take to knock down Fyrus? Uh, a shitload? I don't know. I only remember doing this once as like a casual when I was maybe nine years old. I mean, I've never done the fight with just arrows. Ten? Question mark? I don't know. Good question. 
But I didn't know that you were supposed to pull on the chain and knock him down. I, I just kept on shooting him, and eventually he would fall down, but I don't remember anything <laughs> beyond that. Nice break, slide beast. Anno entering Virus now. Yeah. Yeah, we got B showing off some of the slides. Uh, yeah, brake sliding is a technique to preserve your momentum up slopes or otherwise uh, through obstacles by um, targeting and holding ESS down, and it makes you like walk backwards, but not really, and it preserves your momentum because you're not being affected by the jump or something. All right, Simi has finally knocked fires over. <laughs> really going to town on him with that bow. And he's back up. Oh, this is awesome. Um, We probably have time for donations. I don't know how far through the fight anybody is. Sure thing. I do have a $25 donation here from Agronis42. I oh, hope cool. I pronounced yeah, yeah, yeah. pronounce that correctly. That's close enough. But, nice. I'm so sorry if I pronounced it wrong. They did not leave a note, but they did also enter for that boomerang incentive. So uh, if y'all want to see that pretty boomerang, please look at it. Uh, I believe we should have an exclamation point incentives uh, that you can use in chat to see all of the, the lovely incentives that you could put your money towards. Uh, but the boomerang is a very pretty one. And your donation does not have to come in during this run. You have the next two yeah, runs it's open for a couple more runs. as well. Yes. Fuck you. Yeah. All right. Simi has killed Firus. And by killed Firus, I mean killed the aspect of the fused shadow that was inhabiting Darbus and was possessing him with a malignant force of evil or something. Uh, spoilers, by the way. It's Darbus. Now Beast has taken him down just now. But it looks like we have GG's to Simi in first place. In, in I, I mean, unless here. Simi sucks at matching uh, text. <laughs> unless Simi decides to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Um, this category uh, ends on selecting yes to warp out of the uh, of the dungeon. So there's some text that you guys that you guys need to mash through. Mormon is like, you did it. You got the fucking thing. Great job. Got some lag here in this stream too. Yeah, I don't know it's a little bit scuff. That New Zealand internet. And there's Darvis. But yeah, right, now that's that GG for Simi. Time for Simi. GG, first place Simikins. Yep. Uh, Beast coming up very shortly here. Yeah. The details were, you know, unpredictable. But this is sort of the order that I expected things to shake out in. These guys all have uh, reputations that precede them. Getting the heart container, okay. Bold move. Time for Beast. Good job, guys. GG. Anorak is hoping to scare... Ho Anorak is hoping to, uh, like, uh, sort of, like, bargain with Firus, maybe, with his lantern. Like, he's like, I'm just like you, I guess. It's like, I got some fire here for you if you want to add to your collection. Yeah. Virus is a very good listener. Mm-hmm. Got him knocked down. This is good. This is, uh, looking to finish up pretty soon here. And oh, I know he's got another cycle. Yeah, TGD has, uh, Virus in his death throes. Is anybody going to drown, uh, Renato? Yeah, all the runners are doing bow only. Yeah, for a donation incentive. Uh, Beast is gonna. Oh, he's gonna get the uh, fifty rupees. That says, I think. Is there a random runner that knows what this is? Vanilla. It's fifty rupees. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. Simi is learning all about Colin's uh, deep backstory. I actually love Colin's story. Colin is so cool. What was the story again? <laughs> uh, Wait, I know he, that he like he wants to Colin, grow up to be like Link. Yeah, but... yeah, he wants to be like Link. He wants he's because he's all shy and reserved, and all the other kids bully him. But like he grows, oh, yeah, up. Yeah. he's like I'm gonna be pr a protector of my friends, and I'm gonna grow into a, a, a strong guy. And I'm like fuck yeah, Colin, that's awesome. Or right, we got time for TGD coming up right now. 
Yep, there's time for TDD. And Anno is finishing up with the final cutscene. GG's to TGD. Pace is getting 10 rupees, I think. 20. Yeah, that's Beast a 20 rupee. He's just going to clear out Kakariko. Yeah. Are you, Pace, are you going to buy the uh, Hylian Shield? He's going to do the precious booty jump too, isn't he? I bet, yeah. If he, if he does PBJ, he can afford the uh, Hylian Shield. Are we going to buy the Hylian Shield before? Uh, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, get up there. Yeah. Maybe we'll get to see some Jotwad. Maybe Jotwad. Yeah, that'd be nice. Sammy is drowning Renato. He's not going to get there in time before Anarakis finishes, though. THD is leaving entirely. He's going back to Orden, I guess. Full rando check mode. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's like, where's the mass? Who's where the light sword? Where's the, and the heart container from Anno? Love yep, it. Nice. And, and that, that is, is time. GG for ammo for Anno. Time for everyone. Nicely done, everybody. GG's, everybody. Good job. Very fun race. Very interesting to see the bow only fires, too. That was kind of new for me as well. Yeah, that, it was so, certainly doofy. Oh, TGG got some mail. Very is doofy. Gonna, is he going to read it? He better. It would be rude not to read mail from your friends. I think it's uh, one of them's from. One of them's from. Telma, I think, right? Uh, of, I don't know. Out of CAC North? I don't remember. Oh, we're going to have what the runners join us. Hey, guys. Hey, hey good job. Oh, GG, thanks. everybody. Was it a good job? GG's all around. Well, okay. Here's the thing, Anno. You got kind of fucked <laughs> by EMS. <laughs> You got kind of absolutely dunked on. Are you trying to do the out of bounds here? Of course, I'm trying to do. Yeah, the yeah. Out of here. <laughs> not talk about my eternal mess up. Yeah, I mean, it could have gone a lot worse. Let's be honest with ourselves. It was a good run up until Q charge kip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys all, you guys all did great. This stuff happens, you know. Um, the runs were all still very fast. Oh, you're you're buying some bombs. I see. There you go. And they were very close for the most part too. Yeah, that was yeah, exciting. No, the uh, sync between Beast and Sammy towards the end was fucking awesome. Yeah, always good for a yeah. race to have near syncs. Mm -hmm. I kept hearing Beast say, I just got this, or I just failed this, and I had literally just done the same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, while well, we have our all-star cast here, um, everyone want to give some quick words to everyone of uh, where they can find you after this event uh, on the internet should they choose to do that which they should uh no okay <laughs> Beast doesn't really do <laughs> yeah find me at my twitch, twitch is Simi Jens, and i don't stream so don't <laughs> bother simmy you okay. stream every once in a while don't, don't don't put yourself down like that i remember you streamed just uh, last month it was <laughs> <laughs> You can find Are you me at twitch.tv/slash Arju. Yeah, yeah twitch.tv/slash Arju for all of us. Actually, that's where you can find me. Yep. But also my own Twitch, if you feel so inclined. But I play. Uh, I play TP. You try learning Majora's Mask. Twitch.tv/slash Skyrion. True. Yep. Yeah. Oh my God! Same. <laughs> I, you know what? Never mind. Not all. Yeah, that's Skyrion. I'm finding out you all share a lot of alts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah we, we, uh, we think we're TV slash risky bet time saver to note parentheses saves four seconds only. Yeah. Shout outs to them. Yeah. True. Follow that one. Fo yeah. Follow, <laughs> follow everybody. Follow, follow slash risky bet time saver to note, please. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I hear he's trying to get affiliated. <laughs> no, he's going for partner, man. Yeah, he's going for partner oh plus. God. Push for partner. Partner yeah. plot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I can't, um, do, I can't do a point of bounds. Gosh darn it. Wow. Great. I'm trying to play one handed and it's really hard. Dude, uh, geez, did it. G's, G's sub three. Seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, yeah, no excuses. G sub three twice, by the way. It's one handed. So if he can do it, you can. Back to back days because yeah, yeah. he's just a mad lad. Like he's that. insane. He's so good. He deserves it, honestly. How's the race going? Spectacularly. Yeah, it's going fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Nama. What's up, dude? Oh, by the way, nobody else said it. Uh, Discord.gg slash TP for the, the uh, TP yeah, speed on Discord. You can find all of us for yeah. real. If Do we you still are have interested that domain? in 
and yeah yeah dude uh I if you like remember in any capacity uh of, in speedrunning tp please join the speedrunning discord we are objectively the friendliest and best uh zelda community True. yeah there it is we will help you learn twilight princess this category fucking rules any not. percent rules uh yeah, this what category else? is probably a good introduction if anyone's like interested in starting to learn TP. Yeah, but, exactly. Honestly, if you want this category, but like more fun, you can do Pirate RTA. True, Pirate <laughs> RTA is better. Pirate RTA is really good. And you can run on emulator for the uh, leaderboards for that category. If you want something really Perfect. short and simple, you can do Jotwad. <laughs> Jotwad is great. Yeah. Um, Joe is great. If you want to be on the leaderboards because you're yeah. cool, you can do Hold a Dog. Hold a Dog is on really fun. Just hold the very short. At, uh, it's fall okay you can find me at twitch.tv slash squidwe by the way yeah uh, for yes, hold the dog runs the the highest quality hold the dog runs you will not be disappointed <laughs> yeah exactly um there's there's no sarcasm in that message no all. it's it's <laughs> seriously it's a great Absolutely. category <laughs> it's so fun to just no, bang I, out a bunch I, of hold I the agree. dog attempts <laughs> um or or yes you could do twilight princess pie cross yeah my nintendo yeah, pie cross legends of twilight princess by the way and uh, I would I would never hang out with somebody who runs that game though because that'd be super cringe. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, that'd be cringe. cringe. But we had something. Three P one C hold a dog. True. Yeah, three P one C hold a dog is awesome. Three P one C. Um, AMS what is the third or a uh, AMS unplug and replug. No, it was a uh, start. I think it was the start button, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, you oh, got it down there. In front of the screen, so you can't see. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Renato's yeah. stuck. Oh, he's really he's really scamming you, huh? I, I you usually probably wait for him to walk up on the slope there. Yeah. Oh, I've done this before. Really? Sacrifice Renato. Oh no, I've never. Oh no, I think he might be stuck. Do you reckon? Ah, hey, oh, there we go. Too many else to shout out. No, no, no. Uh, uh, you can also find me on Twitch.tv/slash Angry Demon Noises. Uh. Mm. Definitely follow that account. All right, here we go, drowning just... Renato. What a wonderful way to end this race. Good Boko pushing practice, probably. <laughs> kind of, I guess, yeah. Yeah, for everyone's favorite category, no saving quit. Yeah. <laughs> for for Anorak, this is no one else's favorite category. It is a fantastic category. It's awful. I would say oh, it's so a bad. better beginner category it's than any It's terrible. Sense. Don't, it don't run that category. It is a fantastic category for oh someone who was running in 2013. It's a great category for somebody who was running in 2013. It's a bad category <laughs> if you want to have fun with the game, with the first split at least. <laughs> well, thank you everyone for the incredible race. Um, there was a lot of hand holding. It was very fun to watch. Um, and thank you for giving us such a list of alts to follow. Yep. Um, and uh, everybody hanging out in chat, you should be sure to stick around because we have more coming up right soon. Oh, yeah. What's after this? After this? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Oh, it's SM64. Yes. It is it's Super like Mario 64 by Liam. My, my favorite speed game. Yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Y'all donated for it. So, uh, well, yeah, shout out to everybody for excited. donating, by the way. Yeah. Um, so, it should be uh, an incredible run, and it will be coming up in just a few GG minutes. Anno. Thank you. Oh, did you dot wad? <laughs> nice. Yeah, he yeah, dot wad. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Putting your wad in public. Yeah. Oof, almost 3K plus champions. Oh, yeah, we are almost there. Are we out yet? Cool. Ooh.